Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. So I'm sitting at work today and all I'm hearing people talk about is King Charles. Uh, in case you didn't know, King Charles is actually going to have his royal coronation ceremony. Uh, it's going to take place this coming Saturday, May 6, 2023 at Westminster Abbey. But I'm at work today and all people are talking about is, I hear them asking each other, are you going to be watching this this Saturday? They're talking about how cool it's going to be. Are you going to be watching this? And I want to connect the dots with you guys. Folks, King Charles is a huge pusher of and promoter of the Great Reset Agenda, which is basically where they want to reset the entire world. Talk about a new world order. He's a huge supporter of and promoter of Agenda 2030, which is where they want to have a one world government in place by the year 2030. And they actually just recently came out and said they want to accelerate Agenda 2030. Again, the way it's looking now, they're looking to push this thing to Agenda, agenda 2023 or Agenda 2024. King Charles, I have no doubt, is paving the way for the coming one world religion, as well as paving the way and preparing the world for the coming of the future Antichrist. We have to remember something, folks. In the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 21, we read the following. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Use wisdom here, folks. King Charles, a promoter of uh, the Great Reset Agenda, uh, Agenda 2030. Just connect the dots, folks. And don't forget, this is the same Charles that spoke about climate action at the COP26 Climate Summit in Glasgow on November 1st, 2021. And listen to, I've done a video on this before, but I want to reiterate what he said. Listen to this. I'm quoting what he said during the COP26 Climate Summit in Glasgow on November 1st, 2021. Quoting here. So ladies and gentlemen, my plea today is for countries to come together to create the environment that enables every sector of industry to take the action required. We know this will take trillions, not billions of dollars. We also know that countries, many of whom are burdened by growing levels of debt, simply cannot afford to go green. Here, we need a vast military-style campaign to marshal the strength of the global private sector with trillions at his disposal, far beyond global GDP, and with the greatest respect beyond even the governments of the world's leaders. But he says, with trillions at his disposal. Who is he referring to, folks? Well, everything he just said in that quote there, it sounds like he's pre preparing the way, paving the way for the coming Antichrist. And I just mentioned that I believe uh, King Charles is also paving the way, a part of paving the way, again, for the coming one world religion. I want to go over this. This is just in from the Times of Israel. King Charles' royal coronation to feature roles for Jewish, Muslim, and Hindu leaders. Let me read some of this to you. The United Kingdom's non-Christian faiths and its Celtic languages will play a prominent role for the first time in a royal coronation when King Charles III is crowned this Saturday, May 6th. The May 6th service at Westminster Abbey will be overwhelmingly drawn from the Christian liturgy as Charles takes an oath in English to serve as defender of the faith and to protect the established Church of England. But in a first, listen to this, it will also feature a prominent role for Muslim, Hindu, Sikh, Buddhist, and Jewish leaders, according to the order of service released by the office of Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. At the end of the coronation, they will deliver a greeting in unison to Charles, declaring that as neighbors in faith, we acknowledge the value of public service. We unite with people of all faiths and beliefs in thanksgiving 
and in service with you for the common good, they will say. In another coronation first, Charles will pray aloud during the service to ask God that I may, I may be a blessing to all thy children of every faith and conviction. So I want to connect these dots with you again. You have King Charles, a promoter of and pusher of the Great Reset Agenda and Agenda 2030, who basically came out during that speech in Glasgow and did a talked about a military-style campaign with trillions at his disposal and the whole, when you read the whole speech, it's basically like he's paving the way for the coming Antichrist. And during his coronation ceremony, this coming Saturday, May 6th, he's going to have leaders from uh, most of the world's major religions all in attendance for the first time, having them all there. And it's all about unison, bringing us all together. Folks, this has one world religion written all over it. If you can't see that Charles is part of the whole push in paving the way for the coming one world religion and paving the way, preparing people for the arrival of the future Antichrist, I don't know what else to tell you. All I can say is, here we go. It's all getting set up, folks. Just like in a play, right before the act begins, the actors, the actresses, they're all getting ready. The props are being put in position. That's what's happening right now. Kings are being set up. Kings are being removed, just like we read about in Daniel chapter 2, verse 21. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and he setteth up kings. Connect the dots, folks, and you will see King Charles. Again, it's all about the Great Reset, Agenda 2030, and look at what's going to happen this coming Saturday during this coronation ceremony. And people are talking about how cool it's going to be. Oh, Chad, are you going to be watching it? I will not be watching it. No. Uh, because, this, again, this is all about paving the way for the coming one world religion and paving the way and preparing people for the future Antichrist. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you need to get saved right now. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. How are you saved? Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins and be with him forever in heaven. So believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. The bottom line is this. None of us are promised our next breath here. We could die at any time. Heaven and hell are very real literal places and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. If you do not have Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell and I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Again, Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. So I am begging you, I am imploring you again to put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe he died for you, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. God bless you all.